Do you support child slave labor? No. Do you support mass electrocution of cows, pigs, chickens, etc.? Obviously not. No. And what about elephants being beaten and tortured to be trained? Definitely not. No. Mm -mm. Well, if you've ever worn clothing, eaten any meat, or attended a live circus, then unfortunately, your answer to those questions should most likely be yes. Well, dang. Well, YouTube goers, the thing is, most of us do indirectly support those seemingly terrible things, the key word being indirectly. And the thing is, it's not really our fault. Unless you're able to completely refrain from shopping for the basic necessities of life at stores like Walmart, Gap, Forever 21, H&M, Apple, there's not really a way to avoid supporting these things such as slave labor. The reason it's so easy for us as Americans to support this modern day slavery is because the victims are distant and the rewards are close. The slaves are off in other countries making our products and the prices here are cheap, so it's easy. Now more on the scope of my main topic, guess how many land animals in the US are killed every year only for food? Think of a number in your head. The answer? 10.2 billion. Now if you do the math, go from year to day to hour to minute to second, then we get to 330 per second. Crazy, isn't it? All of this has been information that I've taken from my ethics class recently. And it's not like all of my morals and my entire mindset has been drastically altered, but I feel inspired to make a small change for a small amount of time. That is, I've decided to go vegan for one week. One week. So, this upcoming week, refrain from the majority of the foods that I usually eat and could enjoy the vegan lifestyle for one week if I can do it. So stick around, and I'll see you next Monday for the results of my one week vegan challenge.